Graffiti, it isn't just an eyesore. In some cases, it is a crime. Yeah, Laura Smith spoke to a local rabbi about the problem that he sees and is getting answers from the state DOT. Rabbi Eric Solomon feeling angry, hurt, and scared for his family after coming on this pedestrian bridge to take a run and seeing those hate messages. There is graffiti on that bridge often. I've seen it. I've mainly just ignored it. This time, he refused to stay silent. I saw a few swastikas uh, on the bridge. It totally stopped me in my tracks. Uh, you know, the swastika, as a, as a member of the Jewish community, not to mention a rabbi, it is the ultimate symbol of hatred. He says hatred should be called out, even if it's graffiti. The kind of nerve that someone would do this. The rabbi for Beth Meyer Synagogue lives just down the street. I'm not afraid in the moment by seeing it, but it just it's, it's a very deep feeling in the soul to see that symbol. And then to see it in my neighborhood and to see it where my own children would go by and other children. I visited the bridge earlier this month after speaking to him. This ramp to the pedestrian bridge just north of Interstate 540 is covered with graffiti. The good news is we have seen DOT crews out here taking measurements to get this covered up. They were very troubled, and they told me that they will get on it immediately. The question is, what are we going to do to help stop it, and then also to find out, you know, hopefully who's doing this and to educate them. He confirms the graffiti on the bridge is now gone, but will someone do it again? That's the big question. According to the state DOT, graffiti is just hard to stop and it's expensive, costing the state $31,000 to clean up in 2021. And so far in 2022 fiscal year, DOT has already spent $20,000. Hey, do you have something that is driving you crazy on the roads? You want me to help you get answers? Go ahead and send me an email to lsmith at CBS. 17.com.